Hi there. Hey, I want to start this video by asking you an important question, something to maybe think and pray about. What's been your experience, your lived experience of seeking the Lord, of actually seeking, actively seeking the Lord? Many of us were taught that seeking the Lord looks like this. We learnt the Lord's Prayer, we learnt how to pray the Rosary, we came to Mass on Sundays and Holy Days of Obligation, and we went to a Catholic school, and we were taught that by our parents. But, you know, that speaks more to a culture rather than actually going out and actively seeking a relationship with Jesus. And that culture, a culture of Christendom or a Catholic culture, actually started to change in the 1960s. Some of you have heard me preaching about this over the last couple of weeks. But ever since the 1960s, the culture of the world has been moving on and more and more has evolved or developed the need for us to have a personal, intimate, life-giving relationship with Jesus. In our first reading for this weekend, the first reading from Zephaniah, one of the 12 minor prophets, Zephaniah, or rather it's God through the pen of Zephaniah, encourages us to seek the Lord. Three times right at the start of the reading, we hear, seek the Lord, seek humility, seek the Lord. What does that look like for us now? Well, you know, I did a bit of research into the, the etymology or the Latin meaning of the word seek. And while I'm no Latin scholar, Google's pretty handy. And it means to perceive keenly each one of us has been given five senses sight hear smell taste touch but we've also been given a sixth sense our sense of faith each of us has the capacity to keenly perceive the presence of god in our midst not just in the beauty of creation not just in the love that we may feel with other people but actually the presence of God in extraordinary ways. So if I can encourage just one thing for your prayer this week is to keenly perceive the Lord by actively seeking the God who desires to be known and loved by each one of us. God bless you.